Hi guys, and welcome to another Some Guys Productions video. As you probably know from my other videos that I uploaded from my iPhone, here is Snow Leopard, and the first computer I'm actually going to install it on is my Mac, 15 inch MacBook Pro. Alright, this one's got the, obviously this is a 2007 model MacBook Pro, 15 inch. It's got to have the, it's going to have the, uh, 2.4 GHz Core 2 Duo Santa Rosa processor with 4 GB DDR2 800 MHz RAM. Uh, you got your 8600 MGT 256 MB video card on there and a 320 GB 5400 RPM hard drive. Uh, so I'm going to then actually install this on this computer and we'll see how it runs. Leopard. Okay, guys, the leopard disc is going in. The snow leopard disc, I mean, <laughs> it's going in. Okay guys, I've actually pressed ALT this time, so we can just see this disc there. And now we're going into that disc right now. Alright, it's new leopard, here we come. Okay, I'm now going to go into language, and language is English, so let's move in. Alrighty. To set up installation for Snow Leopard, click continue. To repair a disk or using Disk Utility, restore your computer for a time machine backup, or perform other tasks using utilities. Choose the option from the utilities menu. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's do a clean install somehow. I'm going to now wipe, completely wipe, my hard drive. Alright. Disk utility. I'll actually get rid of my boot camp one as well since I don't use this much on my laptop anyway. Okay, let's wipe them. I'm going to wipe this one. Partition. When you're ready. Bye bye. Yes, remove. Now you don't have to go through this if you're doing an upgrade, obviously, but I don't. I want to actually have a complete and clean installation of this, so there will be minimal issues. So be back in a tick. Okay guys, basically what I'm doing right now is completely erasing the hard drive. I pretty much am doing a zero data, zero out data secured erase. So this is, going to, this is the longest period of time it's going to take. It's going to take about an hour and 11 minutes to go to do this. But once I've actually done this, uh, I'm going to then go and install Snow Leopard. Hopefully that's going to give me a full clean install. I want to avoid at all costs to doing a upgrade for very good reasons. Believe me, um, you'll see why and how much better it is when you actually do a clean install more so than when you do an upgrade. 
so yeah hopefully snow leopard has migration assistant and it will be good to see if it does or not so i'll see you in a bit okay guys so i've just uh completed that format of zero data i'm now going to perform an installation of a full clean install of snow leopard so i'm going to go straight out of disk utility and this should hopefully bring up yeah there we go install mac os continue all right let's go straight in right it's coming up with terms and conditions i'm going to say agree all right it's asking me where i want to install customization option down the bottom there all right going into customization the reason why i'm doing this is the one thing i've been told result I'll just zoom in here and you'll see there's an option here called Rosetta now if I do not tick this I will not get uh, full Power Mac support for uh, certain applications that worked on Power Mac that don't sort of are natively going to work on uh, Intel so Rosetta's in there uh, it also has the option for QuickTime 7. I should or shouldn't? Alright, I'll give it a go. Ah, uh, bugger it. I don't care. If, if it all screw... Uh, Alright, I'll just put it in anyway. Printer support, everything's in there. Brilliant. 8 gig. So, let's install. Okay, it's now installing. This is a clean, complete install. I wiped this entire hard drive so I made sure this clean install of Snow Leopard actually was not going to occur. So this is the full installation of Snow Leopard. So this may take a little bit of a while, but I'll wait till the estimate comes up. Okay, looks like the installation will take 30 minutes, so be back to when it's all done. Alright, all done guys. Uh, installation is complete. Now I'm just going to do a restart. Here we go. Oh my god. It's exactly the same entry. Exactly the same. Well, the welcome intro is exactly the same, but the welcome screen is a little different. Alright, obviously Australia. Oh, it's detected that. Bluetooth mouse, good. Alright, obviously Australian. Continue. Alright, that has a migration assistant. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to migrate my data and this should be pretty sweet. See ya.